So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of using Pinduoduo, starting from registration to ordering and shipping, and even some bonus tips. The whole journey from the beginning to the end to help you source from China. You can check out the timestamps below if you just want to get straight into it. So let's go. Now the first step is to download the application. If you're not connected to a Chinese server, it may be hard to access, but Pinduoduo currently does not have a desktop version. It only has a mobile app version for your iPhone or Android system. So you can download the application with this QR code that I put up here, or you can go to their website in the description down below. It's as simple as that, but without Downloading the application, you can't use it, so it's probably the most important step. Then the second step is to actually make an account. This is easiest with a WeChat account, because if you don't have a WeChat account, you most likely need a Chinese phone number, and if you're not in China, it's going to be pretty hard for you to get. You can actually find out how to get a WeChat account in 2021 by looking at this video up here. Otherwise, you're going to have to find ways and loopholes to get a Chinese phone number to register. And it's so easy once you have a WeChat account. So you can see in this example here, I am simply opening the application and the first thing that should show up is, hey, log in with your WeChat account. It's pretty much that green button that says Weixing Donglu. Or you can log in with QQ or your phone number if you click on the blue on the bottom right here, but I don't recommend that because then it gets complicated. So you simply click on the button and it should automatically log you in. And if in my case, I already logged in once, so it's already linked, but you just select your WeChat account when it shows up because as long as your WeChat account is on the same phone, it should automatically show up. And then right there, boom, you're on the home page. Super easy, right? So a simple introduction about the platform. You have the home page that I'm on right now. This is primarily used to search for products, either through photo search or if you want to type it in the description. And then at the bottom, you can see the four interfaces. I just showed you the home page. Then you have live streams. If you actually want to see people live streaming products, this would be all live stream live data. Then you have chats. This is any chats you have with any manufacturers that you may be interested in buying their products. And lastly, you have the personal center. Most of your transactions are going to be done in the personal center and on the home page. So the first thing before getting into this is de determining your shipping address. So you click your button here, which is show huo dija. It means the receiving address. And then you click on this red button that says to add a new address. I already have my address added on here, but for this tutorial sake, I'm going to click on that button. Now what you need to know, the minimum information you need to know, and this needs to be all in Chinese characters. Okay. Is the name of the person receiving it. The name can be in English, but, but the, the address must be in Chinese characters. So let's just say my name and then put the Chinese phone number that you're going to uh, receive the goods in. Then you got to select what district you're in. So I'm just going to pick one Joe. Um, yep. And then you got to put the detail address of your location that you want to ship to. Pinduoduo does not ship overseas, guys. It does not ship overseas. You need to have a local freight forwarder inside China. So this address must be in China in Chinese. So you get your freight forwarder's address and paste it here, and then you save it, and it should be automatically your default address if it's your first time doing this. Now, if you don't have any kind of freight forwarder or any connections, there's actually a couple ways I can help you out. One, you can check out this video right here that I go into great detail about a pretty reliable freight forwarder that supports more than 70 countries and a lot of different couriers like DHL, FedEx, SF, EMS, etc. Or you can add my WeChat. I'll put it up right there. And when you add me, I'll add you to a shipping group and you can find a freight forwarder that is related to your country. So if you want to develop a partnership with someone that can ship to your country, if it's not a common place like the US, Canada, Europe, Maybe it's like in the, in the heart of Africa. You can actually use that group and leverage those resources. So now let's go and look for products. So to look for a product, go for the home page, click on the search bar. And if you do it in English, the algorithm may not pick it up. There's a risk, but you can always try. So I like to do wireless headphones for my example. 
Okay. You can also use Google Translate if you don't know how to say it. And you can see all the kinds of headphones and different costs. Man, these are these are grossly cheap. Now, the first thing I usually do, with, especially when something's really cheap, I look for their feedback in the comments. So you can click on the comments here. And you can look through the comments of people actually using it, giving feedback, you know, taking pictures, saying they like it, they don't like it. Now, you do have to understand that you can easily buy reviews, but I mean, just use your best judgment to see if it's legit or not. Now, for the pricing, you actually have to go into buying the order. So you click here and then you can get different pricing for different packages. So if you click on the picture, this is package one. It will give you all these items and this is package two. And then you can select which one. Now, in Pindodo, you cannot add things to a cart, but instead you can like the store. So in this example, I'm just going to click on the heart on the bottom. And that saves this product into my personal tab that I'll show you a little bit later on. So you can see I added the heart right there. If I go back to the home page, to my personal center, you want to click on right here. You see a little heart right there. Click right there. And then you'll be able to pull up the item that you added for... I guess you add it to your cart, but it's not really adding it to your cart. And you can pull it back up again just like that. Do note that there's also a, a picture, a photo function, a photo search function. So it's really useful if you just click on the photo. And then you can just select the photo folio. And then you can see the image search results that what it gives you. So I put Sour Patch Heads in this example. It's really easy to use. But let's say you want to actually contact the supplier. You can simply click on service right here, customer service. So yeah, you can just type it whatever you want. If you try this in English, you're probably going to get a uh, bad feedback. They may not respond. They might be like, Hey, I don't understand what you're saying. So you might want to use Google translate to go and copy and paste your, your meaning on here. Realize that this is meant for the domestic market. So the English service is kind of bad. So now let's go into actually purchasing. So when I go to the purchase, let's say I select this one, I click on next, right? And here you would have your address up here. You can select different addresses if you, if you added multiple addresses, but it should be your default address. But I want to note on some key items at the bottom. You have different options for how you want to pay. So if you click on more options here, you can see there's, there's a total of four options. Uh, Pindodo is actually one of the only platforms I know of. There are others, but there's one of the only ones I know for sourcing that accepts WeChat Pay. So this is WeChat Pay. This one is uh, send this to your friend so your friend can pay for you. But there is a time limit. I think it's like two hours. So if you have a partner and you have a product that you want to buy, just send it to your friend. And I guess they're your friend or your partner and they'll pay for you. Then you, of course, have Alipay. And then you have... This is called Huabei. This is like the credit, but it's mainly only for mainland Chinese with Chinese ID cards. Now, I haven't tested it as a foreigner yet. Now, if you want to pay with foreign cards, that's totally possible. You can do it either with uh, Alipay or WeChat Pay. And you can look at this video up here on how to set up the Alipay Tour Pass. So you can actually link a foreign bank card with your Alipay. But if you select on WeChat Pay, you'll see there's different options. You can pay now. And then here you'll get the options to have different credit cards and all that. You can see I have my foreign credit card already linked to this. If you don't see this show up, you can always click on add new card and then go through the whole process. But I go into a lot more detail in this video right here on how to use WeChat Pay with a foreign bank card. So I'll put all these videos in the description down below, but I highly consider you watch those videos because it specifically solves that problem. So once you actually place the order, you probably want to track where the item is, right? So you go back to your homepage and you go to the personal center here. And these are the buttons you want to pay attention to up here. On the left is like, I haven't paid for yet. So you can just see the order I just placed. I haven't finished the payment, but I'm actually going to delete this. A uh, different reason. Right. So then, yeah, you have before payment and then you have payment is being received before shipping would be right here. So if you pay for the item and it hasn't been shipped yet, this would be after shipping and you will see the tracking number and all that, that the, once the customer uh, finishes shipping the item, 
And then last one is reviews if you want to leave a product review after you receive the goods. Now one last thing I want to talk about in this tutorial is refunds. So let's say you have an issue and because you sent the goods inside of China, you have an issue like it's the wrong color, the wrong product, it's broken, whatever. You must check all these before it leaves China. Once it leaves China, because this is a, a domestic platform, they're not going to help you. Like the chances of you actually getting support, you need to send it back to their factory and they play games with you. So uh, if they know you're shipping it overseas, be very, very, very careful because they may take advantage of it. And if the clock runs out, as in after like a week, you receive the goods, no feedback, it's too late. So you can click on here to go on refunds. And it will tell you all your recent orders and then you'll be able to continue the, the process of issuing a refund. Something you want to note is that when you use the refund and you use a foreign bank card to pay, it can take between one to two weeks to actually see the refund in your bank account because of the different system. So be patient if you're using a foreign bank card. If you're using a Chinese bank card, it's usually within a week. So that is a straight to the point version of how to use Pinduoduo for sourcing to improve your business as prices can be quite attractive even compared to 1688. Make sure you share this video with people considering using Pinduoduo as a sourcing partner. And if you found value in this video, smash that like button. Remember, the goal of this channel is to make resources to source goods from China available to everyone around the world, regardless of your geographic location or your demographic. So stay tuned for much more content as I find more partners in the future. And consider subscribing if this kind of content is valuable for you. Let's make sourcing easy.